We're going to be tying a realistic mealworm that is sure to catch you some fish. We'll start off with some tan thread, secure it to our hook shank, and snap the excess free. We'll continue wrapping back well into the bend of our hook before reversing our thread's direction back up towards the hook point. Here, we'll select one strand of thread and secure it to our hook shank. Here I'm using a tan 140 Ultra Thread. Continue to secure it backwards to the back of the fly before bringing your thread forward once again and grab some latex. This one's from the Flysmith in the color translucent. Secure the latex tightly to the hook shank, once again wrapping backwards towards the back of our fly. At which point, we'll bring our thread forward, this time all the way up to the hook eye, creating a smooth transition forward for our next steps. And if you'd like to win this fly, comment hashtag flies in the comments below. With this complete, we'll grab a caramel marker and paint over our thread to give it a slightly better color and also add some texture by leaving some parts of the thread uncolored. At which point, we'll grab our latex and begin to wrap it forward in close touching spirals. Don't overwrap the latex too much. Each wrap of the latex should start where there's only a previous single layer of latex. But if you look close, you can see the transition from the last layer. This will help create some segmentation while not building up too much bulk for this particular pattern. We'll secure the latex tightly in place by taking thread wraps both in front as well as behind, pulling it tight and snipping it free. Secure your tag ends tightly in place and wrap back on the latex slightly. At which point we'll grab our thread and begin to wrap it forward in open spirals, using your thread to wrap between each segmented part of the latex. This will increase the segmented look, but also the character of our fly, as you'll see in the next steps. Continue to wrap it forward until you reach your thread, secure, and snip the excess free. At this point, we'll grab a brown sharpie and paint over our latex, but the thread that we just laid down will absorb some of this color and help give the body a segmented look. With this complete, we'll use our fingers to remove as much as the brown as we can, before once again grabbing our caramel marker. Once again painting over the latex, giving it a mealworm-like appearance. With this complete, we'll switch back to our brown marker, touching up the tail to give it a slightly darker appearance, before grabbing some UV res, painting it all over to increase the pattern durability, as well as give it some shine. Fix it in place with a UV light, and grab a smaller piece of latex, snipping a small triangle in it, coloring it in slightly, and securing it to the head of our fly. With this complete, we'll grab some brown hairs here, creating a small dubbing noodle that will wrap just in front of the latex. This step can help mimic the legs, but it's completely optional if you prefer the sleeker look. However, it wouldn't be a mainly outdoors pattern if it didn't have a nice, buggy look. Once the fly's thoroughly brushed out, We'll then color in our thread with the brown sharpie before folding over our latex and securing it tightly in place, taking thread wraps both behind as well as in front before snipping the excess free. Coloring in the latex with your caramel sharpie. We'll then grab some UV resin, painting it over the back of our fly as well as on our thread before whip finishing to hold it all in place. Snip your thread free. And this is a pretty simple, realistic mealworm. You can fish it like this, or add some weight under it to increase how fast it sinks. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe for more, and I will see you in the next one.